Man, Kyrie's being attacked on every level. He's being suspended for five days on the NBA. Nike canceled deals with him. But we all been asking one question. Where is that same attention and energy for the platform that is promoting it and profiting off of it? Turns out there's a much bigger reason why the NBA is only going after Kyrie when it comes to all this. And in today's video, we're going to be exposing why the NBA is attacking Kyrie when it comes to what they say is an anti-Semitic documentary shared on social media, what Jeff Bezos has to do with it, and also what is the one thing Kyrie can do to overturn all this before Thursday. Let's get into it. What's up guys, this is JC and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. This is where I create content that talks about anything to do with business and investing. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the business of the NBA and also the latest investment Jeff Bezos is looking to do and what does it has to do with all this with Kyrie Irving. I've already made a video talking about how we got to this point with Kyrie Irving. Make sure you check this out. I'll have the link right here. I've also talked about the difference between money and power, the different power players and different things Kyrie could have done to also make benefit of these $36 million deals. But in today's video, I'm going to flip it around and show you the different leverage point Kyrie actually has that makes this power struggle actually more fun and more exciting for us to watch. Now, without any surprise, Nike has officially cut ties with Kyrie and will no longer release his shoes. He's also going to be losing $2 million by Thursday and might potentially lose $30 million for the rest of the year if this continues. However, he can flip it around. But again, I ask the question, why is it that only Kyrie Irving is getting blamed for this and not the platform that is hosting this documentary? Now, a ESPN NBA analyst had this to say. But the platform is profiting and promoting it to billions of people. If that is, so the anti-Semitism, if it, that is a thing, and I've called a lot of my Jewish friends, we have talked about this. I get it, Kyrie Irving deserves a lot of heat. Then put heat towards something where it deserves it too. And that's on the platform. But hey guys, we, we're here to talk about money and business. And did you guys know there is a lot going on between the NBA and Jeff Bezos? For example, Jeff Bezos is one out of three billionaires looking to buy on NBA clubs. Just last video, we were talking about the owner of the Phoenix Suns that had to sell his team because of his racist and misogynist comments. Now, the NBA has no tolerance when it comes to anything that can get them canceled. Cancel culture is real and they don't play around with that. So even owners can hide from this. Now, imagine Kyrie. He paid $400 million for the Suns 18 years ago, and he's probably looking to sell that higher than $1.8 billion because in 2017, that's what the team was evaluated for. But since then, they had acquired Chris Paul and also Devin Booker. And the fun thing is this team actually made it to the final. So if you're a team that consistently makes it in the playoffs in the NBA and also you got to the final, your value is definitely getting up because your chances for, to repeat this process again increases. So this deal is definitely worth $2 billion right now. And Jeff Bezos is one out of four billionaires looking to buy this team because the NBA has to sell it to someone else. And if we dive deeper in this article, it says that the lure of an exclusive package of live game is likely to attract the world's biggest streamers, including Amazon and Apple. Biding for the streaming only package will likely start at $1 billion a year. $1 billion a year, this is a potential source of additional revenue for the NBA and a secure deal with the streamers, right? Because streaming is definitely the, the way to go. Cable is dying, streaming is increasing. So that's why the NBA is looking to not doing deals with the traditional cable platform like ESPN and ABC, but also looking to switch the streaming platform. And we're talking about at least a billion dollar a year from the streaming platform as a revenue, right? So this is a big deal for the NBA. And also now imagine this, and you have this situation where Jeff Bezos is looking to buy a team, NBA is looking to sell $1 billion a year package streaming. So this could actually put Jeff Bezos in a situation more appealing to the NBA as opposed to the other four billionaires. The other four billionaires are still unknown. We don't know what they have. But one thing for sure is they do not have the media package that Jeff Bezos can provide, right? We're talking about Amazon Prime, one of the biggest streamer platform in the world with paying customers year over year growth very stable business. It's not going away. And that's very appealing to the NBA. Now, this gives Jeff Bezos so much leverage that he could actually bargain a deal, actually getting the Phoenix Suns at a discount, or at the very least, he could say, hey, you know, give me priority over this team right here so that I can buy you 
that $1 billion a year package. And you know you want my stream, right? So it's really just a way that Jeff Bezos can navigate this. And one thing for sure is the NBA needs Bezos more than Bezos needs the NBA. I believe that's another reason why he's looking to buy a team like the Commanders, teaming up with Jay-Z as we speak right now to buy another team. That's just a way to provide more leverage to say, hey, you know what? I just need a team. I'll just go with whoever wants to give me a fair deal. If you're not going to give me the deal NBA, I'm going to go with somewhere else. And that's going to put more pressure on the NBA to be like, hey, you know what? We want to deal with him. We know where we want in the long term. Why not make a deal with him now? One thing for sure is Jeff Bezos and the NBA commissioner have been in discussion for a while now about big purchases. We're talking about the billion dollar purchases. Now, here is where the hypocrisy comes in. Fun fact. Did you guys know Adam Silver? The commissioner of the NBA is actually Jewish. What about Jeff Bezos? Is he actually American? Cuban? American with a Cuban name? Do you guys know his real name? But I know something about you. He ain't a Bezos. His real name is Jorgensen. <laughs> hmm. Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Is that a Jewish name? Could we be talking about a Jewish guy making money of an anti-Semitic documentary and no one is talking about it? No one is pointing an eye on it? Nah, that can't be. That can't be. It's easier to blame Kyrie, right? Wait, wait, wait. I got to look this up. Oh, man, I just looked it up, man. And it's actually worse. <laughs> it's actually worse, guys. Now, look at this guy. We have more information about Jorgensen name. It's actually derived from Denmark and Germany. And this is not looking good, man, because we know the history between Jewish people and Germany. So basically, it's an old name that is very popular possibly European descent, and at some point they probably moved into America. That's fine. Now, let me ask you a serious question. What are the chances that someone with this family name was actually in a German army? Remember that army in the World War II that was not doing pleasant things to Jewish people? What are the chances that someone with this family name was actually perpetrating those acts, right? We're talking about those those acts on the ovens. But when we're talking about the billion and billion dollar deals, no one really cares about history. We're not going to crucify the son for the sin of the fathers. But when it comes to deals like that, it's better to put the blame on Kyrie that has already on history of making controversy in the NBA. It's much easier to dismiss the guy, put the blame on him, saying that, hey, you know, we're against anti-Semitism. Let's donate $500,000 to fight anti-Semitism. At the same time, we're going to fight against Kyrie. We're going to put him out. We're going to make PR points on all that. All that in the front end. However, in the back end, Jewish people are shaking hands with uh, German origins people. And they're forgetting about all their history. <laughs> but they want you to remember it. <laughs> they're forgetting about their history, but they want you to remember it. They want Kyrie to remember it. And if Kyrie doesn't acknowledge it and say what they want him to say, they're going to cancel his contracts and possibly be losing $30 million while they pocket, we're talking about a billion dollar a year just from the streaming platforms alone. What can Kyrie do to be ahead of this situation and leverage this information right here? If I'm Kyrie, I know the media is dying to speak to me right now. Kanye West has been trending the last month. Kyrie Irving is the new hit chick in town. So I know the media is dying to hear from me right here, right? So what I would be doing is I would be silent right now, not say any word, wait for all the media to have their attention on me. And then I would say, hey, I will be making my formal apology when Jeff Bezos make his apology for having this documentary on his platform. I will make my formal apology when Jeff Bezos stops making money on anti-Semitism documentary. That's what Kyrie should be saying right now, putting all the attention away from him on the platform that is hosting this documentary, forcing everyone, the NBA, the media, the masses to look at it, to ask the questions that everyone is asking and get the NBA to completely disregard this because we know the NBA doesn't want to force their faces to do anything because they want to have good relationship with him because they have a big deal coming up, right? So if I'm Kyrie, I'm leveraging that. And the beautiful thing that is happening right now is even if the NBA decides to completely cancel Kyrie, well, he can go on Twitter and now no one can be canceled on Twitter, right? Right? That's what Elon Musk says. No one will be canceled un unless they're being super hateful. And based on what Kyrie has been saying, he hasn't been super disrespectful. He hasn't been hateful, 
right? Kyrie can go on Twitter, continue to spread his message, get massive following from that, and actually stood his ground. People are going to respect him a lot for this. With that said, guys, make sure you subscribe because I'm also going to be releasing a video on Elon Musk and what is the real reason why he bought Twitter. This is going to be a great video. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. But also, I want to see you in the comment section and let me know what you think about all this. Did you guys know about this Jordan Sand family? And we'll be talking on the next one. Hey, yeah, it's all about wealth engineering. Might be something that you're not used to. It's okay, because I'm here to introduce you to concepts. Time to grow and make big moves. All about crypto. Come see. Stocks and business. Yes, indeed. Got the info that you need. Hosted by my homie JC.